Hey guys, Heather here from Perfectly Imperfect Perfection, and I just want to talk today about six ways you can overcome any major issues that you could be facing in your life. Um, and I'm talking like big things, things such as um, drug addiction, being in a domestic a domestic abuse relationship, um, dealing with health issues, legal issues, legal trouble, being in debt. Uh, maybe a cheating spouse or you've cheated before um, life can get hard like let's face it and a lot of us deal with things like this and we just don't talk about it we don't talk about a lot of the dark things especially like out on social media and things like that a lot of it's like upbeat and everything like that but I know a lot of us do struggle on a daily basis with some circumstances that we just can't change overnight so how do we handle this like I said I feel like these are just six tips you know within every circumstance that I mentioned and others that people deal with depression things like that you, they're gonna have their own particular steps within that issue to reach the goal of resolution but generally speaking I just felt like these were just six good tips that uh, I wanted to share with you so the first one would be time right um when you're dealing with something hard uh even if it's something like you had a baby and you want to get back in shape you need to give yourself the proper amount of time to reach that goal if you were pregnant for 10 months then it's unrealistic to think that in four months everything will go right back to where it was give yourself some grace give yourself a couple extra months maybe a full year maybe even a year and a half to reach that goal. If you were dealing with drug addiction or any sort of addiction, right, you have to give yourself time to really get over it because it's not just the physical act of an addiction, it's the mental state and the way you think about things that has to change and that takes time. So the first tip would be just give yourself time to get over or to figure out a way out or whatever it is time time is on our side that's it time is on our side number two work be prepared to work um let's just say you're dealing with debt and because this is something i want to tackle here is is my debt uh student loans gotta love them right it's gonna take work though it's gonna take one writing a budget two sticking to that budget you know three executing that and um, you know, that takes work. It takes practical application. It takes doing whatever it takes, even when you don't feel like doing it. So you have to be prepared to put in the work, to face any issue, to overcome anything that you want to overcome. You have to be willing to put in some blood, sweat, and tears for it. Number three, you need to be patient. Patient. Um, you'll need it. You know, you'll need to be patient with yourself, with those around you. Uh, maybe your marriage is a little rocky. You know, you need to be patient with your spouse. Um, they have feelings too. You have feelings. Again, if you need to change the way you speak in your habits and the way you think, you need to be patient overall and, you know, not forget the end goal. And instead of looking at every little hiccup along the way, see the light at the end of the tunnel and focus and be willing to forgive others and yourself when things don't go exactly as you would hope they would um number four uh sorry number four would be consistency right i think that's really important um especially if you have to put in the work you need to be consistent about it if you need to learn to talk more positive if you need to learn to eat healthier you know you're going to have to really be consistent you can't just do something for one day and then put it down the next and hope you're going to pick it up you need to be consistent every day be intentional and be focused and get it done you know i mean that's really it's just i guess how it is right because when we're not consistent then we're inconsistent and then we really don't get anywhere uh number five i would say don't compare yourselves to others um I know this one's so hard to do. 
so easy to do is to compare yourself so hard not to. You see other people and you think, oh, they're not dealing with what I'm dealing with. They're not depressed. They're not um, broke. They're not, um, they're married. They have children. You know, you, you think because people have certain things that they are fully complete inside and that they're thinking there's no fault in there. But that's not true. Again, everybody deals with something. So don't compare yourself to someone else's life and wish your life was something else. Just make your life what you want it to be, which, again, it takes time. It takes work and patience and consistency. And it, you know, it takes strength. So don't compare yourself, which leads me to my favorite one, number six, which is to pray with a purpose. Um, of course, I want you to cry out to God and share your troubles and your burdens with him, but I also would suggest that you praise him and worship him and pray with a purpose. Know what you want in the end. Um, pray with faith that God is going to let that happen for you and he's going to bring that to fruition because God wants wholeness and he wants completion in our life and you need to pray like you believe that's going to happen. Um, a lot of power in that. And what I'm looking for right now is a verse that I'm using in my daily life. It is Isaiah 52 or 25. <laughs> I had the note card here. Um, either it's, I think it's either Isaiah 52, 2 or 25, 2. And it says basically that the Lord says, I will go before you and I will level the mountains. I will break the gates of bronze and I will reveal to you hidden treasures and secret riches. And it says that he summons and calls you by name. That's kind of the gist. I would have read the note card, but of course it disappeared. <laughs> uh, but that verse has been my verse right now. Um, there's some things that I'm praying for, some things that I need to change in my life, some big things like debt and things like that. And I don't have all the income right now. I don't have all the answers right now, but I know that God is not only beside me, but he is going before me and he is leveling the path. He is making a way and I just have to be diligent and, um, you know, open to the Holy Spirit and to his discernment so that I can conquer these goals in him. So I just, like I said, felt that on my heart and I just wanted to share with you these six ways that you can overcome any difficult situation. You know, I've been in an abusive relationship. I've had to put in the time and the work for that was prayer and healing, um, learning how to forgive, learning how to rethink, um, you know. So I've been through some pretty big things and there's some big things I haven't been through, but you know, I know that God can bring us through anything and heal everything. So I just hope maybe you can gain a little encouragement from this today. And if not, then thanks for hanging out with us on our couch and enjoying this beautiful afternoon. We hope that God blesses you and you have a great day. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> you say have a good day. Have a good day.